so this is done in scratch it's not the checking the answer it's mcq kind of a quiz which you were waiting for such a long time so here i am with this video i hope that you are gonna like it and share it with your friends so let's get started with a new file create a new file and then you will upload all the logos now all the logos will be uploaded in this sprite i'll just delete this cat go to the costume delete the cat and i need a blank costume also so create that delete this cat and then with the help of this upload option you will upload all your logos in this particular sprite so let's quickly google out some logos now i have uploaded all my logos let's upload them here now i need to remove the white background one by one so for this you will go to this fill tab and you will take no fill click here and this is how you can delete from each of the logo in case you want a clear cut image without the background you know because for example this one is having a little bit white background so if i change the backdrop uh, you can see over there that's why i have taken the white backdrop so can you see it has got white part now if you want to remove it completely i have uploaded another tutorial on my basic in computers playlist how to remove the white background totally using scratch and using paint 3d in scratch this kind of white area would be left but if you use paint 3d to remove it it will be completely removed for that you can watch that video the link i will provide in the description box i just take the white background i do not want this so let me delete this now the next thing is i'm going to duplicate my backdrop as i have five logos so there will be six backdrops one for the introduction and five for the logos for identification purpose you can write the name of each backdrop like you can take zero one two three four let me move it to the very left hand side so I have numbered them as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I did to identify. Okay, once we have done this, now the next thing we are going to do is we have to make buttons. Now I have created only two options. In case you want four options, then you will create four buttons. I am creating two over here. It's all up to you how many you want to create. And then there will be another button which is next button on which you have to click and it should display the next question so let's do that if you think the size of the sprite is too much large you can reduce it in the very first one here i'm going to write with the text tool apple i'm going to duplicate my next logo is chrome so i can write any other option it could be some wrong option also duplicate and you have to do this for five times because you have five logos the next one is mastercard so let's write mastercard here now the next logo we have is twitter so let's write you can write either the correct one or the incorrect one so it's all up to you if you're writing the correct one here now then the incorrect option will be in the second button. It should be there in the second button. So I'm just going to duplicate this now once I have done this. Right. Now Apple is the correct option. So you can write any other option in this uh, one. Centralize it. Correct option is Chrome. So now I have all correct options in button one. Even it can be all five options in cut button one. One, two, three, four, five. And in button 2 also, I have all 4 or 5 options. Now it's time to create the next button. Okay, so you are almost done. Now it's time for putting that up correct one and incorrect one. I have uploaded these one, this one and uh, this one. You can upload. From Google I have created one more score which was I want to display the score over here to utilize the space and then I have some animation here as well let me play once again I have added it so there is a little 
little change that you will be learning in this tutorial okay so i will use these also as a sprite so let's add the sprite for correct answer and incorrect answer so i'll choose from the scratch gallery itself i'll just put it here put it here let's see if we have some costumes so i this red one will work for me and in this one this green one will work for me okay so uh, now we can upload those arrows also let's go to the costume i have deleted this part first of all let me delete all of them i do not need them then i have deleted this part for this you have to convert this into the bitmap then use this tool and delete this part and now you are going to make three costumes select this one click on the fill color and uh, just with your pick color tool you will take this color make it a little bit lighter and then you have to fill this color here so this way you have three costumes this is the darkest one a little bit lighter and lightest one all right so and then i'm just going to duplicate this one duplicate and just flip it select it use your selection tool select that flip do it for each and every costume okay so you are done now you can start it from here i'm just going to start it from here take it to the very left hand so that it is not visible and this one i'm going to start from here okay this way so this is the placement of all the sprites now uh, we have one more which is go let's do that as well resize it so let's start with the coding part now i want my costume to appear according to the backdrop so when i'm clicking on the flag i do not want any of my logo let's see the costume i want this one because there i it is a welcome screen so no sprite no costume so where the flag is clicked switch costume to costume one and when the backdrop switches to let's see the number backdrop two you want apple to appear when the backdrop will switch to three the next logo and so on when backdrop switches to backdrop two switch costume to costume apple the same you are going to do for each and every costume backdrop you need to change and then the logo okay now when do you want your backdrop to switch when do you want your logo to appear when you click on the next button so we have to write this code in the next button so let's click on this when i click on this sprite you want next backdrop i click on the flag and if i click on next button you can see that it is started with zero now clicking on next my apple logo is there then chrome then mastercard nike twitter now the next one is to work with the button so what is the logic that i have used here is there are two buttons now in both of them there is only one correct option how to identify which button is having the correct option it can be button one or button two if you are using three buttons then it can be three or four so only one button is having the correct option now if i click on that button which is having the correct option then it has to match with the backdrop number suppose right now over here the correct option is tweet for example this is backdrop number five and the correct option is tweet which is button two so if the button two is pressed and it is backdrop number five only then the check mark should appear otherwise it should be the cross that should appear this is the logic which is being used now to achieve this I'm going to create a variable button. When the flag is clicked, button should be set to zero. And if I click on the button, then it should be changed to the value one, right? This is my button one, this is my button two. Now, as this button is having different costumes, so when the backdrop switches to backdrop two, Apple should appear. When backdrop switches to three, Safari should appear. So we have to code this as well the button should change to button one right so we will go to events when i click on this sprite go to variable set button click to one because we have button two also 
So we have to set this button again to zero after some seconds. So let's take one second. Same coding will be applied to the second button. I just copied the code. So there is no change over here, but there will be change here. When I click on the second button, it means the button should be set to two. And again, after waiting for one second, it will again set back to zero. First of all, they should be hidden. They should not appear. And this all should be hidden. This score should be hidden. Only the next button should be there. So I'm going to hide them when the flag is clicked. So they are hidden when the flag is clicked. And they will be shown when the backdrop is switched to second backdrop when the logo will appear. And that will be in the second backdrop. Is applied to the cross and this one and score. Alright, so and this one also. They should be hidden when the flag is clicked and they should be shown when the backdrop is switched to backdrop too. So let's see. Now we see that if we click on button 1 and backdrop is 1, then it should appear. And now we have two conditions to compare and they both should be true. So we will take the AND operator. If backdrop is one and button click is also one so they both should be equal to we have to compare them so equal to operators in both of the boxes then the button click variable if it is one and the backdrop number is also one so the backdrop number is there in looks you can see over here backdrop number Okay, so in case if it, it happens, then it should be shown, otherwise it should be hidden. Okay, let's see. Okay, first of all, they should be hidden when the flag is clicked. And uh, so let me remove this, otherwise it will appear. So right now, both of them is no, are not here both of the pick one and the cross one are not here so if i click on the apple it is going to test the condition and then only it is going to show that okay my backdrop is actually it has to be two so let's see that again now why i have changed that to two because this backdrop number two not one now if you click on the apple you can see it is button click one it was one button click one you see button click one and backdrop was also Number two, I'll tell you, tell you again why it is backdrop two. You can see what is written in backdrop. That's why. Okay. So in that case only it will show. Otherwise it is going to be hidden. The same condition I'm going to apply for all the options. And then I'm going to show you the code. Now in this case, our correct option is in button two. So I have to change this to button two and the backdrop is three. Same thing I'm going to apply for each and every option. Let me complete. So let me show you once again. First button clicked backdrop to, it will show you. Let me show you here. Now this is my third backdrop and the correct option is in button two. Similarly, MasterCard button one and backdrop number is four. Next one, the correct option is button two and backdrop is five. Last, the correct option is button one and the backdrop is 6. Now I'm just going to copy this code for cross also and I'm going to just change the options. Wait for one second and hide. 